United Nations, NYTIMES, three days after offering to talk to North Korea without precondition, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson reversed course, insisting, as President Donald Trump has all along, that the North must stop its nuclear threats and earn its way to negotiations. A sustained cessation of North Korea's threatening behavior must occur before talks can begin, Tillerson said at a UN Security Council meeting. His remarks Friday, December 15, were a sharp contrast from his surprisingly conciliatory comments, made Tuesday, in which he said he was open to talking to the North about anything, including, as he put it, the weather. The White House swiftly distanced itself, saying that talks would be pointless so long as the North continued to threaten its neighbors and the United States. On Friday, Tillerson reiterated Trump's position. North Korea must earn its way back to the table, Tillerson said. The pressure campaign must and will continue until denuclearization is achieved. The back and forth reflected the awkward gulf between Tillerson and Trump, who has threatened to totally destroy the country and referred to its leader, Kim Jong-un, as Little Rocket Man. Tillerson's latest message also appeared to place the United States and North Korea at a dangerous standoff once more, with Washington insisting on a halt to the North's nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs and North Korea advancing them. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called the North Korean nuclear crisis the world's most tense and dangerous security issue, and without identifying the United States by name, warned of the risk of bellicose language. He said it was imperative to open lines of communication. While all concerned seek to avoid an accidental escalation leading to conflict, the risk is being multiplied by misplaced overconfidence, dangerous narratives and rhetoric, and the lack of communication channels, he said. One of his top aides, Jeffrey D. Feldman, Undersecretary General for Political Affairs, met with senior government officials in Pyongyang, the North's capital, this month, the first high-level visit by a UN official since 2011. Feldman, a diplomat, said he did not receive any commitments from the North, but left the door ajar for a negotiated settlement. The United Nations has suggested holding talks to figure out the substance of negotiations further down the line, and a military-to-military -military hotline to dampen risks of conflict. China sounded more like a marriage counselor in the Security Council chamber, warning against mutual blaming. The parties concerned should keep calm and exercise restraint, China's deputy permanent representative, Wu Heidao, said. The North Korean ambassador to the United Nations, G.A. Song Nam, in a rare appearance in the council, began by condemning Japan for hosting the session and went on to criticize the council for acting as a tool of the United States. The council meeting came weeks after the North fired an intercontinental ballistic missile that flew higher and longer than previous such launches and that the North claimed could deliver heavy nuclear warheads anywhere in the continental United States. It has conducted six nuclear tests so far.